reassembling an engine, Bill Saviri. Pretty great it is, boys and girls. Well, I started to reassemble the engine. I was able to get uh, the one bearing back on without a, a puller or a press, boys. Okay? I just put a socket over it like that, and I put a bolt in, and I just slowly tightened her up with shims until she was on, boys. Decent. So that new one's on. But the other side, on the other hand, she's not going to go without a press, boys. There's nowhere to grab unless I build a press and use a crank and this and that and the other thing, but I'm not going to do her, boys. I'm going to wait. I'm waiting for a phone call back from Steve. Yeah, I am, because I think he's got a press at work he does. We're going to hang tight here. I'm not going to rush his job because I don't want to mess it up, boys. This is uh, critical stuff, it is. But I got parts cleaned up and kind of ready to go. Okay? Got parts there, parts here, parts over here, parts over there, parts everywhere. Freaking right. I'm on a standstill, I am. So I just wanted to give you a quick update there, and uh, I'll be back once I get that bearing pushed on there, and then we'll start putting the gear together, right? Very right. Well, boys and girls, I'm back. I got the crank in the freezer, and I got the bearing in the oven, I do. So I'm going to try to put it on like that, not like yesterday. The other one went on, like I said, but this one not so much. So we're going to try the frozen hot technique eh if that don't work we'll have to get a press boys but we're gonna try that freaking right but i got this cylinder all honed and ready to go i got the new cylinder eh and she fits just lovely she does once i put the rings on it oh yeah boys freaking right i do there's a piston and there's a head we're gonna use freaking decent right freaking right is decent got the old reed all cleaned up i do ready to rock and roll this should hopefully go back together with uh not much of an issue, boys. Hopefully. Freaking right. So I'll come back there once I pull that stuff out of the oven, I will. All right, boys, we got the frozen uh, crank chaff we do. So I'm going to put a little bit of lube on her, I am, eh? Just a little. Train going by, but I don't have time to wait, boys. This is going to get done, it does. So there we go. We got some lube on her. So let's go get the hot bearing and see if she slides on. Bearing's so hot, I got to use the oven, man, I do. Here we go, boys. The moment of truth, eh? Freaking right it is. Holy crap, that's hot, boys. Look at that, boys. There you go, eh? Freaking right. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you let it cool down and hold her down, boys, because she won't want to try to walk off. That worked pretty slick, it did. Freaking right, it did. It fell right on, boys. Decent. Freaking right, that's decent. But anyways, that's all there is to it. Now, we just got to wait and let her cool down, we do, so she doesn't come off, eh? Freaking right, we do. Wait for the bearing to get cold, eh? And then we can start reassembling this bad boy. This is going to be freaking decent so here's the first piece we're gonna need freaking right it is all cleaned up ready to rock and roll ski so we'll uh lube this up give her a little lube job boys hey just a little on the major just enough to give her some slipness hey decent so now we'll flip this sideways will and uh we'll slide her on in boys hopefully 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 it should fall right in boys oh, oh something's happening oh 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 <laughs> oh boy, she's still tight. She is. Yeah, I gotta put this in the oven, eh? Let's try that. If I can get it back off. Gonna put this in the oven and put this back in the freezer for a few minutes. We are. All right, so we gave this a few minutes in the oven. I didn't give her too long, but let's uh, see if we can't get her on, boys. Hey, nice, careful, and gentle, and easy, boys. Oh boy, she's still tight. Why is that so damn tight, boys? Ooh, eh? Ooh. We need to give her a few taps with the old hammy. You tappies with the old hammy, boys. She's going. Can't rush a good thing, you can't. Whew, almost there, boys. Freaking right, it's almost there. Oh, geez, careful. Not even a quarter inch to go, boys. Tell you one thing, you gotta have patience when you're doing this. Make sure you don't leave any wood shavings in the bearings either, boys. Just so you know, eh? You know she's getting close. When? Might look like I'm hitting this hard, but I'm not. There you go. So that's in, and listen to her. Decent. So there's one side done. Now we need the other half we do. Hopefully this one goes back in a little better now than it did. Give her a quick little wipey wipey. Make sure everything's cleaned off of here because we gotta seal her up, boys. She's a seal up time, she is. So now we gotta add some poopy poopy. Add some poopy poopy, boys. Eh, eh, eh. Decent. Careful! So we'll just do a nice little smooth bee, boys. There we go. So let's see if we can't lock her down. A little bit of lube. Another friggin' train, boys. It's around here today. Holy man. 
Why is that so fucking tight? They're supposed to just slide on there. It's definitely going. She's just slow. Let's see if we can't get a couple screws in there and just kind of walk her in, boys. A couple of L bolt holes, boys. I'm getting irritated. Big time. Don't let me forget to pull these bolts out and lock tight them when we're done, eh? Better not. Why would you? Why the hell would you? All right, we got enough to pull in that one. And let's see if we can't pull her in just as slow, boys. Freaking right we can. You can hear the bearing sliding down the shaft. Slow and steady rins the race. Decent. Oh yeah, it feels nice. Oh man, does that feel good? All right, we did her. So now we can pull these bolts back out. Let's get that little piece of wood out of there, right? Hey, little piece of wood, bearing. Why wouldn't there be? There we go. So that looks good. That looks good. Everything feels good. Looks good. Freaking right, it looks good. So there we go. So now thread tight them bad boys. Why the hell wouldn't we? Some blue stuff, boys. Blue boys. Oh, careful. Careful, gentle. Easy. You gotta figure out where this goes. Now, I did make marks, and there they are. Friggin' right there they are. You can see the marks, boys. So now the timing, I know the timing's good, eh? So we don't need that in just yet. So let's get the screws and We need one, two, three, four, five screws, boys. Five screws, boys. So we'll give them a little thread locky locky. That way we don't vibrate or loose. Nail in the throttle, boys. There's one. These don't have to be super tight because they have star handle screwdriver for a reason on them. And make sure when you're tightening you go, hey, like, like you would a lug nut. This is the first engine I've rebuilt in probably 15 years, boys. So I'm sure there's gonna be tons of comments out there saying, you did that wrong. But hey, it is what it is, it is. Go away, B. B, leave me alone, B. Why wouldn't you? So there we go. Bottom end all locked up. Now, if you're really, really picky, you would have had a parts cleaner and clean all these parts, but I don't have a parts cleaner. And there's hours and hours and hours of cleaning parts that I don't have, boys. <laughs> well, maybe I do, but I don't want to take, eh? I don't want to take hours and hours. Well, maybe I do. I don't know, boys. Mm. So anyways, there we go. There's a the bottom end back together. Oh, except for the seals. Gotta put the seals in, boys. Let's put the seals in right now. Do a little seal action, eh? Seal up that bottom end before you start getting dirty. Get her dirty. Dirty, Jim. For God's sakes, Jim. So for this, I'm gonna use a little bit of grease I am, just to make her slippery, boys. So she slides in real nice, eh? Mm. Hope, see how slippery that is? Holy. So I'll slap that on, like so. Slide her down nice and gently and easy. And we'll knock the seal into her, boys. Yeah. I watched a guy online do this, and he wrecked the new seal. Trying to put it in, and I don't want to be that guy, eh? So, you need to make sure. There she goes. There we go. So there's one seal in. Decent. So we'll give her some more grease, we will. Just a little, whoa. Some little grease, boys. Not a lot of grease, eh? So now we'll slide that one over. Over and down, boys. Careful! So there we go. We gotta put the old oil center back in, we do. And I'm not going to worry about sealing this off because I'm not going to use the oil pump. I'm just going to do my own premix, boys. Friggin' right, I'm going to do my own premix. Why wouldn't I? So put that one like that. And this goes on like this. We need some Loctite, boys. Decent. Little Loctite on here, like so. Decent. Little Loctite on here, like so. Decent. And a little Loctite on here, like so. So now we need a ratchet, we do. We can snug this bad boy right up, Jim. Yeah, I am, I? 10 mil fees. There she is, boys. There we go. My torque wrench is my arm, boys. So we're pretty close to uh, reassembling the old piston we are. Once we figure out which way the head goes on. Keep an eye on the old YouTube, boys. Make sure you get the head on right, eh? Why wouldn't you? I don't even know if you need to put that back on or not. You know that? Port to the carb side, boys. Ah, uh, oh, uh, oh, boys. Not much talking going on right now, boys and girls. I'm concentrating. Freaking right, I'm concentrating. Okay, boys, I got the cylinder in, I did. Freaking right, I did. I got the cylinder in. She's nice and tight, she is. Just remember, when you put the cylinder in, don't break the freaking rings. And the rings have little V-grooves in them. Make sure the V-grooves are facing away from the little pin that's in the cylinder so they can touch. 
Because right? there's a little pin in the cylinder. If you flip it over, then they run into the pin. They won't collapse far enough to get the piston in, eh? So I got the piston in. I'm going to put it in like this, and I'm going to put the seals on now. I'm going to do that like that. Why wouldn't I? So I'm going to use a little bit of this khaki khaki, because they say they use some khaki khaki, boys. So we'll put a little thin bead around here. We'll pump out the shit first. Get rid of the shit first, boys. Because the gasket I got... It's already got a little mark in it, it does. So I'm just gonna run a little thin bead around here, boys. Decent. Okay, not too much, just a little. So we'll stick that gasket down like so, like so. Perfect. So now we gotta figure out which way the exhaust side is. I'm pretty sure this is a carburetor side over here. Make sure, boys. Good old freaking, where would we be without this YouTube thing, eh? Why'd that start playing? I wanna know something, I don't wanna watch it. Oh my friggin' lord! So exhaust goes on like so. So, let's get some goop on this thing. Be a little goopy goopy. We'll get the pin ready, which is right here. Put some lube on it, boys. Hey, a little bit of lube. I'm a big lube guy. Um, I like lots of lube, boys. We'll slide this down here like so. And we'll put the pin in like so, boys, like so. Oh, this is gonna be tricky, tricky, tricky. There we go. We'll slide that up here like so. Slide her down. Get the pin ready to go like so. So I'll come down here and we'll see if we can't get her through, boys. First try, hey? Eh? Oh, this is tough. I can't see what I'm doing, boys. Right there somewhere. Easy, careful, gentle, boys. Come on, get in there, you son of a bitch. There she goes. Oh, yeah, we did. So we get that in there. So we got to turn the engine back. Make sure. You don't forget the pin, boys. Make sure you don't forget the old pin Decent. <gasps> yeah, ah, ah. Don't go down yet, you son of a bitch. We almost need a piece of wood here or something we do. Put this pin in, like so. Of course it did, why wouldn't it? There we go, make sure it's in. Sure is. And there we go, boys. That's friggin' decent. Oh yeah. Hooey, eh? Hooey. So, now that's in. We can install the old head of Ruski. So we're gonna need the head gasket, boys. What do we do with the head gasket? Here it is. We should wipe that down again because my dirty fingers have been all over it. And we need the head, boys. She might go like that, boys. This is the only problem when I didn't take this thing apart. I'm guessing here. And there's no markings at all. It tells you which way it friggin' goes. It does only go on one way. Sure does. Sure only goes on one way, boys. So we'll put the head gasket in here. And we'll plug the old head Ruski on like so. And we'll get the bolts for that and we'll give that a crank job. Which are who knows friggin' where. Because this is what I got. Okay, this is what I got with the cart, boys. But the top end of the engine was already off, so I'm gonna try to figure out which ones are what. I'm pretty sure that's one of them. Three. Uh oh, one more, boys, and we got them all. Oh, wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Well, at least, like, give me a break, man. That's definitely one. So let's get some thread lock on that. Nope, that's not the one. So you're telling me that this thing didn't come with fucking bolts for the heads? Oh, God, help me. You're fucking metric, too. Oh, come on. Where are the freaking head bolts? They're definitely coarse. Coarse. If it's not one thing, it's another, boys. No head bolts. Frank, so close to getting a race hit run, too. <sighs> wow, that pisses me right off. Son of a bitch. Probably just ruined a gasket too. So now I can't tighten it down to seal that gasket. Everything's here, boys. Can you see it? Everything but the goddamn head fucking bolts. Well, boys, I guess I'm on hold, eh? Friggin' right I am because there's no friggin' head bolts here. I hope it has the reed fucking bolts. Anyways, I'll cobble screw something here together for you until I get the other bolts I need. Friggin' right I will. But hopefully everybody's having a good day and enjoy this video. And comment below if you think I'm just dicking this thing over or what you think, boys. But uh, have a good day and don't do anything I wouldn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.